Hey there guys, it's Dustin Fernando here with a video on my Minecraft and Optifine settings. So I'm going to be going over my video settings and giving you some tips for better performance and things. Uh, so let's go in here and go to the video settings. So for graphics, I have them on fancy. And uh, basically, uh, that's just the... Everything looks sort of uh, just better in general. And the textures look better. Um, for better for performance, obviously we want to go with fast. If I scroll over here, you can see there's a fast. Uh, but fancy is what I use. Smooth lighting is maximum. And that puts all the shadows on things, makes it look really nice. So I have that on maximum. Obviously the, uh, like, no smooth lighting would be the fastest. And then smooth lighting level is 100%. Uh, so that's just the maximum of the maximum. I don't really know how to explain that, but it's basically the same thing there. GUI scale is large. Uh, that's basically your choice depending on what resolution your monitor is and how big your monitor is. Brightness is bright. I have it on bright because if I turn it down, it's very dark, and I have it on bright all the time. It's good for recording and things, uh, so that's on bright. Fog is fast. I don't really... I have the fog turned down. You'll see in a little bit that I have it turned down, so you can't really see much fog anyway, so I have it on fast. Server textures are on, and uh, let me go to this side before I go into the, the uh, other details here. Render distance is far. Performance is on max FPS. And obviously there's the other ones. <clears throat> I just use max FPS. The you get the most FPS if you put it on max FPS, obviously. And uh, if you don't need that much or you don't want that many uh, frames, then you can lower it. And then view bobbing is off. I have view bobbing off for uh, some people get motion sick from view bobbing, and I actually like it off too. It's kind of interesting. Uh, advanced Open GL is on fancy. Now, the fastest would be fast. Um, off is, well, it really depends on your system, but for most modern systems, fast would be the best um, instead of off, but I do use fancy. Chunk loading is multi-core, and uh, that just basically loads chunks a lot faster, a lot smoother. There's not as many world holes and things. And fog start is 0.8. That's what I was talking about, the fog fast. I don't really have the fog on. I mean, I have it on, but, like, there's just no... You can't really see the fog. If you look out here, I mean, you don't really see much fog at all. Uh, so that is the fog start, 0.8. Now let's go to details here, and you'll see that I have most of these on default. Um, actually, all of them on default or on, depending on what it is. So clouds are on default, trees are on default, water on default, sky is on, uh, sun and moon is on, depth fog is on, dropped items is default, cloud height is off, so they're at the normal height, they're not like all the way up there, as you can see in the background there. Uh, grass is default, rain and snow is default, stars are on, and show capes are on, as well as held item tooltips are on. Uh, for the best for performance, you'd want to turn the clouds off. Uh, put these at fast. There is a fast. It's be, that would be the fastest. And uh, you can turn the sky off and things if you really want to uh, to make your microphone better. Animations. I have them all on or all. You can see all on or off. They're all on. Now, this, uh, the less animations you have on, the faster it'll run. So you can like get rid of some of the ones you don't really need. Uh, but yes, they are all on. I'm not going to read through them. There's just so many of them, but they are all on. And particles is all. Now, quality. Quality, this is a very important one, uh, at least for me, because I use Optifine to make it look better instead of make it run faster. I don't need to make it run. I don't need to make it run any faster. It doesn't, um, I don't have any performance issues there. So, MIP map level is off. That, basically, if you look at the look at the mountain um, it would be smooth and all this if you're like looking at it like this uh, but I actually have something else in the settings on that really makes that kind of useless uh, and that is anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing uh, more so the anti-aliasing uh, but I'll get to that in a second so anisotropic or anisotropic however you say that filtering is on 16 which is the max and that uh, basically makes the textures look just better or finer as they put it uh, so yeah there's 
um, less lines and like little white pixely dots on the blocks in the distance. Uh, you can't really tell because I don't have there's no difference because you're just looking at this but um if you look out like in the distance you'll see like it's kind of grainy uh, but for me it is not uh, as you can see like that looks fairly clear it looks like you're right up to the block uh, obviously if you're not watching this in HD you probably can't tell but uh, but yeah it looks like you're right up against the block even when it's like all the way over there and then let's go back in and uh, clear water I have off better grass is off now, uh, better grass and clear water, really, it's just your preference. Uh, what clear water does is, actually, I'll go over to some water and show you that. Actually, here, this will work. Actually, no, that won't, won't work. Uh, you see how it's all blue and everything? It basically just turns it so it's like clear water. <laughs> so it's all, it's, uh, it's more noticeable in deep water, but uh, it does make it a little bit brighter underwater if you do a lot of underwater things. A uh, better grass connects the grass. Uh, if you look off to the left of the screen near the mountain, you will see that it connects all that grass there, and you have all those grass textures connected. Um, I have that off. I used to have that on, but I decided I was like, eh, I don't really want that uh, anymore, so I turned it off. Custom fonts are on. Uh, that's more of a different texture pack thing. Um, swamp colors are off. I live in a swamp most of the time here, so uh, it's basically, I turn them off, I don't like swamp colors. That doesn't really do anything to performance at all, but swamp colors are off. Uh, connected textures are fancy. Now, this uh, off would be the best, or it'd run the fastest, but I do like putting them on fancy, and that is because if you look here, you'll see that the glass all just connects, and if I turn them off, you can see that they don't connect. Uh, so yes, I do have it connecting and it's all on fancy. Custom sky is on. Uh, it's just better sky textures. It's it's a little bit difficult to see you know, since it's daytime, uh, but the sky does look a little bit better. I really don't think you would need it if you um, didn't have a great computer. You can just turn that off. Mip map is nearest. It's off anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so I don't really use that, but if you put um, linear on and you have mip map level on then it'll basically just be a little bit finer I can't tell too much of a difference when I actually have mip map on uh, but yes it'll make it a little bit finer smoothing and everything all right now anti-aliasing this is kind of important for me because what it does is it also uh, kind of decreases a little glistering in the distance um, it kind of looks like I'm trying to find it but it looks like just these really weird pixels that kind of sparkle in things in the distance and it gets rid of that and makes it look nicer makes it look smoother and everything uh, you can see that tree looks nice over there and that would not look as nice if anti-aliasing wasn't on so that's basically what it does it makes things look a little bit nicer and random mobs I am using default texture pack but if you use certain texture packs they have a random mob support and you'll just have randomly textured mobs uh, they have like a few different textures and you'll get different ones uh, better snow is the same thing as better grass but just for snow custom colors is basically um, the see how the uh, swamp colors and everything are all on uh, well some texture packs don't really have that and uh, that just basically turns them on or, or they do have it and you don't if you don't want them on you can, uh, can you can just turn that off now let's go back in here and smooth biomes smooth biomes good example right here I guess from a swamp biome to a, a mountain biome and you can see the change it's very uh, just kinda there's more and more mountain biome as you go over in these blocks and that's basically what smooth biomes does that doesn't really matter either for performance. You can turn it off. It might be a little bit faster, but yeah, as they say, it's a little bit faster there, but it doesn't really do too much. Natural textures. If you look at, I don't really have a good example of this, uh, but basically natural textures will change up the patterns of the block. Uh, good things to uh, look at are ores. It changes up like the, where the dots in the ores are for like redstone and iron and all that it'll change up uh, the where those things are just kind of a randomization feature now performance 
Some of the FPS I have off, load far I have off, chunk updates per frame one, lazy chunk loading off, smooth world, preloaded chunks, and dynamic updates off. These are all off, and that's one. Uh, if you want better performance, smooth world I would turn on. Smooth FPS is basically if you have issues with uh, your FPS fluctuating. Now, if it's not even reaching very high FPS, I wouldn't turn that on. But if you get like maybe 90 or something, but it keeps going like up and down, I would turn that on and it'll keep it at a steady frame rate. And oops, wrong one. <laughs> um, lazy chunk loading is, I would just t keep that off. It's not really, I haven't really seen too much of a difference with that if I turned it on. But uh, And load far, also I would turn that on if you want better performance because it'll actually load uh, things farther out so that when you're moving, it doesn't lag as much. And dynamic updates, same thing, when you're standing still, it'll load things and uh, there will be less lag when you're moving. Lagometer, I have off. Weather is on. Uh, full screen is off. And 3D anaglyph is off. Debug profiler is off. Time is default. Full screen mode is default and autosave is three minutes. Lagometer is that thing here, I'll even show you. It's the, in the F3 menu, it's the thing in the bottom with the green line for me, some people have like a red line. Um, that just sort of tells you if you're, if the uh, FPS is stable. And then uh, time and weather. Weather, if you turn that off, when it rains, you won't have any issues because it won't rain. Um, time, that's just a feature thing if you only want it to be day or something. Now, full screen and full screen mode. Full screen, if you click that, it'll just turn it on. Full screen, the full screen mode on, just like hitting F11 and full screen mode changes uh, the resolution. Now, 3D anaglyph, uh, basically if you have a 3D screen and glasses and everything, uh, you can use 3D anaglyph. Uh, it's kind of a pointless feature for most people, but uh, yep, you can use that. Now, auto save is two seconds is the default without Optifine, and uh, as it says, lag spike of death, basically you'll get these lag spikes. Um, if you don't have a decent computer than with normal Minecraft, you'll have these like really weird lag spikes when you're like mining blocks or things, uh, so that you can change to whatever, it's defaulted to three minutes, I don't really have any, I didn't change that at all, so uh, yeah. So that's really about it for the video settings, I'm not really going to go over anything else because that's all your preference and everything, uh, but if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below, and of course, if you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated, and also if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.